we have a deal. And this deal means that there was no need for any kind of prolongation. Now, this is a fair, a balanced agreement. It is testament to our commitment to finding solutions. It provides certainty where Brexit creates uncertainty. It protects the rights of our citizens and it protects peace and stability on the island of Ireland. There will be no border on the island of Ireland and the single market will be protected. The deal is not about us. The deal is about people and peace. And I look forward to continue my conversations with uh, Boris because we'll start the negotiations on the future relations immediately after the deal will have been approved. We'll start our debates on the 1st of November without uh, interruption. Uh, tonight, together with Michel Barnier, I will explain the deal to the heads of state and uh, uh, government. And of course, it is for both our parliaments to have the final say. It's not only Westminster having to approve the deal, the deal being in fact the treaty. It's also up to the European Parliament to do the same. So thank you, Boris, for, I have to say, excellent relations we had throughout the last weeks. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, thank you, Jean-Claude. And can I uh, pay a particular tribute to uh, you, uh, Jean-Claude, and also, of course, to Michel Barnier and all your team, uh, Michel, in the, in the negotiating team uh, in, the, in the commission. And uh, I do think that this deal uh, represents uh, a very good deal, both for the EU and for the UK. And it's a, a reasonable, fair outcome and reflects the uh, large amount of work that's been undertaken uh, by, by both sides. And uh, I agree very much, Jean-Claude, with what you said about protecting uh, the peace process in the island of Ireland and in, uh, in Northern Ireland. And, of course, for us in the UK, it means that uh, we can deliver a real Brexit that achieves our objectives. And it means that the UK leaves whole and entire on October the 31st, and it, uh, first, and it means that uh, Northern Ireland and every other part of the UK can take part, uh, not just in free trade deals, offering our tariffs, exporting our goods uh, around the world, but it also means that uh, we can take together uh, as a single a United Kingdom decisions about our future, about our laws, our borders, our money, and how we want to run uh, the UK. And uh, those decisions will be taken in the UK uh, by uh, elected representatives of the people of the UK. And I hope very much now, speaking of elected representatives, that uh, my fellow MPs in, uh, in Westminster uh, do now uh, come together uh, to get uh, Brexit done, to get this excellent deal over the line, and to deliver Brexit without any more delay, so that we can focus on the priorities of the British people, uh, improving our health service, investing in 20,000 more police, lifting up uh, the living wage, and many, many other things. And uh, Jean-Claude, I just want to conclude by agreeing wholeheartedly uh, with your final point. Now is the moment for us to get Brexit done, and then together to work on building our future partnership, which I think can be incredibly positive, both for the UK and for the EU. And uh, I just remind you what I always say, that we are a quintessential European country, solid European friends, neighbours and supporters. And we look forward to working with you in building that partnership in the weeks and months to come. Thank you all very much. I, uh, hey, hey. I have Jean Claude's the boss here. Yeah, I have I have to say that I'm happy about the deal, but I'm sad about Brexit. Have a good time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>